Well, welcome to SPED 460. I'm Dr. Fegan and I'll be the instructor for the course. But let me just tell you a little bit about working with parents. Uh, my opinion and uh, outlook on this it really changed over time as we had our family from the time they were in preschool and elementary and they went to a small private Christian school on up into public school where uh, the oldest one went to Roosevelt with uh, uh, 2,400 of his closest friends. One of the things that we found over time is that time is always a factor. When they were in preschool and uh, elementary in the small school, it seemed like we saw those teachers every day and, and connected and talked to them and had relationships with them. But as they went to bigger schools, to middle school and then to high school, uh, that all changed and it was just really much harder to reach out and connect with teachers and even though they were available when we saw them we never had relationships like with them like we did when they were younger and that'll be a factor for you too uh, relationships is what it's all about not only with your students but with this parents and families and that's uh, that'll be a challenge and so uh, again I say to you time is always a factor not only in communicating but also in your schoolwork and preparing and and executing your uh, your connection and love of the kids, uh, time will be a factor. So in the course here, uh, I'm going to take you through like parent-teacher conferences and things. Uh, so let's just get started here. Uh, first thing here, I, I have the official uh, course description. Course covers the collaboration and communication skills necessary to work with family systems and the use of resources and services supporting birth through lifespan services, multidisciplinary teams, functioning, placement committee, those things. So here's the way to contact me right here. Please do not email me in D2L. It's just too hard to respond and stuff. But I certainly uh, take a text. If you text me, make sure uh, most of you, I have your contact information already in my contacts, but uh, if you have any doubt, make sure you identify who you are so that I recognize it. And of course, there's always email. Then here's the textbook. And as I say here, please do not pay full price for this book. It's an old book now, and they're around whether you get an electronic version or what. But yeah, I guarantee you'll use it. Then this course will consist of a study of 12 course objectives, or eight course objectives out of the 12 chapters. I had, I mean seven, I had eight, but I took one out because it was get too long. And here's each chapter, I'll have this, the recorded lecture that you watch and fill out a note outline, I'll show you that in a second. And then a web project, as my other classes, every chapter I'll have a corresponding web project, and then a test over that chapter. And here's the course objectives that go with those under here, but you're probably more interested in this. The course evaluations, and it just looks like this. Uh, seven course lectures at 10 points each, then so seven projects, and then uh, seven chapter tests. And a total of 280 points, then here's the, the breakdown for that. All right, so that's uh, that's that page. Then just a little on core information, course information. The syllabus uh, kind of reinforces some of these things. Uh, please uh, look through this uh, here, and then um, on being a classmate, uh, I'm asking you to do this. Here's a little help video how we're going to do it. Uh, just a quick look at. Uh, at this all right and then uh, here I just show you here I uh, in here I ask you uh, if you don't have one uh, to create one is some kind of a course wiki whether you use wiki spaces uh, like for this I'm using for this course or if you use uh, Google Sites or Weebly or um, Shutterfly, whatever you want to use to be your communication tool with parents, uh, I'm going to give you some stuff in this course to kind of be the foundation of that, and I'm going to ask you to put that on that wiki. And so whatever that is, I want you to link it here, and then make sure I have access to it somehow, that often I get these links and they're locked where I can't get through them. And so here's how you link on here, whatever you're going to use, you just set on that link and hit this little thing here, and it'll let you search, but I'm just going to grab mine, which is here. I'm going to take my home page. I could simply grab this URL out of here, like this. I copy it. I come back here, 
and uh, this and just drop it in there and now that's link that's all your there is to it for this and so link them here and make sure I can see them and I can get into them and see your work okay now here's the contents the contents look like this uh, I simply have the seven chapters chapter one two three then five six seven and eleven and the one on eleven is child abuse one and that one is uh, is not very fun and then you'll see with each of these I have a course lecture and the note outline uh, I give you the PowerPoint in case you want to look at that and then a study guide so let's just look at chapter 11 here for example the study guide students have told me in the past that if you can respond to these to these things here you'll do fine on the test okay and now this one's a little bit longer than some but that's what that study guide is for the lecture looks like this and if you've been in my class before you know exactly how this works but I'm going to give it to you anyway this one is like an hour and 13 minutes which is a little long Okay, you get a little music to start each one. Girls are intimate with boyfriends come from. And then you get a little uh, jabber like this where I tell you what I'm thinking about. And then I take you to the lecture and I'm going through the book and things like this. But every once in a while I stop and I tell you uh, something to put in your note outline. I'm looking for that, and I. You heard me, and then I came to a point. Uh, bed whenever. Every morning, and he, okay. Works with Ron Able to. Did you hear? Where does it come from? And let me. Okay, like right here, I'm I'm numbering this. So this is number six, and I tell you exactly what I want you to do here with number six. And where that goes, you will have downloaded this one. So this is what this looks like to me. It may look different for you. But when this comes up, click on the note outline. Uh, it's a rich text format, so I'm going to download it someplace that I can grab it. And when it, my rich text opens, it's going to look like Microsoft Word. Then when it opens, it looks like this. And you follow right along, for example, here we're talking about child abuse categories, and I'm telling you what to put in here, number six, and you'll have followed it right down here to child abuse categories. And so you'll stop the video and then respond to it here, exactly what I ask you to do. And then I ask you to turn red, whatever you put in here, I call them your inputs, make sure you turn them red. And let me show you a quick example of what I'm talking about by that. But I'm, I'll be very specific what those things are and what I'm asking you for. And so when you're done, your note outline should look like this, where you have uh, things turned red that you've added to them uh, that I've asked you for. And then when you're done, you'll submit that. When it's all done, you'll save it, and you'll submit this form into the D2L. Okay, and in the Dropbox, I have those all open here for you. And here they are. So that'll be the process of this. You'll have a note outline that goes with this lecture. And a lot of times, as you saw, I get a little windy with some of these things. Uh, but um, I mostly just take you through what I'm asking you to do and what we're talking about here. Okay. And I'm just flipping back and forth between the textbook and my notes. Okay. And then each one has a project. For example, on this one here, I ask you to create a video. And this one, I put a note here. Uh, this, uh, um, I'll put a note. Oh, it works best in Explorer. If you put this in Explorer, you'll be able to see this. And I give you a little thing of what I want you to put in here. And then here's some things. Several of these chapters, I ask you to do this. You download this. Uh, save this image, uh, each of these I put in here, and then you upload them into your wiki so you have these. And so several of the chapters I ask you to do that. So there's seven of these, they all look the same. And I ask you what to do. I want to especially point out to you this one here on number seven because I ask you to do something here, and that is in the chapter uh, project. I ask you to find a parent 
of a child that is currently on an IAP and interview using this form. And I'd, my preference would be, uh, if at all possible, that you meet face to face with those parents. But if that's not possible, you can uh, figure something else out. But that's how you can do it over the phone. But my preference would be that you see them and talk to them. Now, if uh, uh, if you're not student teaching, if you have to go find somebody, if you're not at level threes, that might be a little more difficult. In the help video, I say you can ask DSU. I have since found that they don't want you to do that. So this is where you may have to call on somebody from where your kids go to school or where you went to school or ask for assistance or ask somebody uh, at wherever you're at in that community uh, for some names. But first of all, you give me the name of the SPED uh, a student and just a first name here and then the current semester now and then what is the disability what's their grade uh, those types of things so you can figure these out so just a heads up on that on chapter 7 but the other ones are things that you'll be able to do quite uh, easily uh, there's one on um, oh, here it has several things but there's one on conferences that I ask you to put together some stuff on conferences and uh, different things like that. Okay. That's the intro to SPED 460. Oh, um, I want to show you here on the uh, wiki or on the uh, D2L uh, two things you'll submit here. I got these due for you here. Uh, and at the end of each week, my time has always been at 11 o'clock, so you'll see that. Sunday night at 11, it gives you a couple opportunities to get it done. Uh, each week, one is due. And I did the same with the quiz, a little different than my other courses. The quizzes now match up time-wise with the lecture. So chapter one, the lectures do the 19th and the quizzes do the 19th. And the quiz, I'll give you a quick look at that, it's similar to other ones. Um, has 20 questions, uh, multiple choice uh, objective that way. Uh, you need the lockdown browser, and I want to see. There's the dates, and I give you 20 minutes to do that, and it doesn't seem to be uh, a problem. Okay. Again, they'll come here, and the only thing that doesn't show up here is the projects are also due at this time. All right. It's bed 460.